Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and this is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. So today I am going to do the start of my Brooklyn Library sketchbook project and this is volume 15 I think. I think it's 15. Um, this is the first page I'm doing in this journal and throughout the year and as I finish it up because I think it's due in February so I need to really get my act together um, I'm going to show you guys each of the pages and actually do them on camera for you so you can do them yourself or see the techniques that I use and get excited to check out my journal at the Brooklyn sketch book library. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, I will put all the information in the description box down below if you would like to participate. It's open to everybody, no matter your skill level. And it's just a really, really cool program. So I'll put all that information down below and let me show you my first page. So today I'm working in a sketchbook. This is for the uh, sketchbook project in Brooklyn. And this is number 15. So this is volume 15. Um, so I am working on this sketchbook and I'm doing a collage one. I have replaced all of the papers inside with a mixed media paper um, just because I needed a thicker paper because, you know, I'm just going to go to town. Um, what I'm going to do, so my first page, I'm going to get started. I'm kind of excited to start this. I have done one other sketchbook. Um, I will link in the description box down below. I did a sketchbook tour of it. I did not um, do it all on camera, but I will do a, I will show you that link and maybe I'll put it in the I card if I remember, but it'll be in the description box down below and it is in my playlist as well. So, um, I am just kind of going to town and I'd never start a journal from the beginning. I just kind of find a spot and go because why would we want to start a journal at the first page? No way. So I'm just putting some map pieces behind the pages so I don't ooze out too much. I mean, I will because, well, that's just what I do. Um, oh, let me scoot this over. This is what my first collage, what I do, um, just as a tip, trick, hint, advice for collaging is I rough cut out what I think I might do. And I found this dinosaur and I loved him. Let me see what kind of dinosaur is he is. Um, he is, he is a Parkasaurus. So yes, maybe. Maybe that's what he is. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I found him. I really liked him and I found this bird. Here's the rest of the poor bird. I, I did um, cut him up a little bit. Anyway, so I cut the body off and I'm not sure. I thought maybe I'd cut this, but I can glue it back together. And then I have this sun. It was like this in the magazine, but, or maybe it was this way. I don't remember, probably this way. Anyway, but I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna use these pieces. So I just kind of rough cut around. And if I don't use it in this, um, in this sketchbook or in this collage, I'll have the rough cut out and then it's ready to go for the next one. But for this one, I am going to use these pieces and I will fussy cut around all of them and straighten it out because I do like the way it looks. And I'm going to save the bird body. I might use him for something else. I'll stick him in my, my bin. To start out my page, I am going to put some dictionary pages down just because I like to break my page. I like to, you know, get it started. So that's what I'm going to do. To adhere the pieces down, I'm just going to use a gloss gel. Mod Podge would work. Soft gloss gel would work. Um, this is just what I have. But you can just spread it on nice and thin. Um, and a thin layer. And I just like to use uh, dictionary pages or book pages just different kinds of pages because I, I like how it breaks it up and I like how it just starts the page for me. Um, just because I kind of, I kind of like that. Now I've done, like I said, I've done one of these before and what I've learned is you really want to make sure that it's all really adhered down because people get to check these out and they get to see your work and I love it. Oh my gosh. One of my dreams is to go to Brooklyn and go to the sketchbook library, check it out, check out books, spend a day or four days there. Um, it, it just would be a dream come true to get to go to the sketchbook library. So that is on my bucket list, uh, not only to check out my books, but to check out my friend's book and you know, all of those good things. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna do this and then we'll start collaging. And the same thing with the collaging, is to um, use the gloss gel as well. Um, but I think before I collage over, I think I'm gonna paint the background. So um, let me get this done and then we'll go to the next step. 
Okay, so I have the layer down and I am going to use some Dilutions paint. I have uh, lemon zest and melted chocolate. Uh, I think these will look really nice. Um, just to paint a little bit on the background. So I wanna take the darker brown and um, I'm gonna put that on the outside and I'm going to use the lemon more towards the middle and I'm just using my finger and I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and um, kind of smear it around with a baby wipe, you know, really blend it out. I like that technique with the Dilutions paint. just like that and this needs to dry before we add the layers on so I'll grab my heat tool and dry this um, or I might just let it air dry and um, come back to this but yeah we're well on our way this is so cute okay cool all right it's all dry and I have a little palette of white paint in here and you can't see it in the lights um, it's the Dilutions white linen and a paintbrush and I just diluted it just a tiny tiny bit I'm going to take off these clips so I can get splatters everywhere. And I like to do the paintbrush. Sometimes I like to do, um, you know, with a, with a regular brush, you know, like, you know, to tap it this way. But today I am going to go ahead and use the toothbrush and it's the standard splatter with it. All right. That's what it looks like. I can tip it so you can see it. The white doesn't show up very well with the bright lights. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my paint away and and I am going to take this, I don't know, is it a sun? Maybe. It was like this in the magazine or maybe this way. It, it was sideways, but I moved it this way and I'm not going to put it directly in the center like this. I'm putting it off center just a little bit like this because if you just put it in the center, it won't look very good. I'm going to adhere it down with gloss gel and... We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm just putting it on the bottom because um, I'm going to need to put it on the top, but I'll do that all together when I put the dinosaur on the top. I'll just kind of do a layer of all of it together. Um, so that'll just work out best. I will probably... Uh, instead of doing gel on the top, I will probably do clear gesso and that is so I can uh, paint on the top and it'll give it that nice grip that you're not going to get with, um, you know, just the magazine doesn't have that grip to it. Okay, so I need to dry the speckles, the splatters, the whatever they're called, the, the little dots. I need to dry those and then we're going to add some details and then we'll keep on moving from there. So I did this outline and pencil around the sun and you can't see it at all. <laughs> um, I did it in pencil and I'm taking a uh, Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pin in black and it's the brush one and I am just going to uh, outline my little outline and it's really just kind of a free form. Just kind of getting some sun going on here. It, it's just free form here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, do some outlining. Then once I'm done with that, I am going to adhere my collage pieces. But when I do this, first I am going to take some double sticky tape and tape it on the back where I like it. Then I will take the um, gloss gel that I have here and I will um, smear it all over, get it on here the way I like it. He's got wings, he's got some tail feathers, he's going on and then we're going to see what else we need to do. Um, I don't know if he needs outlining or what. We will see what he needs. Uh, anyway, so that's the next few steps. Uh, I, of course, you know, just kind of move it along. You don't need to hear me talking the whole, whole time. Um, yeah, and so yeah, this is really just coming along. I'm enjoying it. I think it looks pretty cute. Yeah, let's get going.
Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so I have some of the oil pastels. These are the water soluble oil pastels from Prima Marketing. And I am going to kind of give them some ground or walk on a little bit of shadow down here. Um, that was black. I'm gonna take some brown. Um, and I've got some water on my brush and I'm just gonna kind of spread it around. And since I gessoed, it's going to um, really help it on the ground or it's gonna help paint it because it gives it that, that grip, that tooth that it needed. And we're just gonna kind of spread it around. And to finish this one out, this page, I'm going to add a quote or two. Um, let's see here. Do more than exist. This is from the Small Talk Tim Holtz. Do more than exist. I really like that one. And since this is going to the um, Brooklyn Library, um, the Sketchbook Library, what is that called? I keep calling it the wrong name. Um, the Sketchbook Project in Brooklyn. Anyway, since it's going there, I'm going to make sure that I put a layer of gloss gel over the top so that it's really adhered down because I don't want it to come up and uh, because people are going to touch this, they're going to check it out, they're going to read it. Hopefully they'll like mine and they'll want to see it. Um, you know, who knows? All right, I'm gonna put a couple other ones in here. Don't forget to fly. I always like to have a few quotes because why would I just have one? I think I'm gonna put this one. There, and we're gonna put one more, I think a longer one over here. What seems ordinary is often the extraordinary. And I'm going to cut it in half. I'll add the gloss gel in a minute after we're done filming, but that is it. This page is done. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I think it turned out really cute. Well, I mean, cute as a dinosaur could be cute, but I really like the way it turned out and I'm pretty excited and I can't wait to work on the other pages. Yeah, we're going to see how they turn out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this collage page. I had a lot of fun and I can't wait for the next ones. I've got some really cool ideas up my sleeves for that. If you do happen to go to Brooklyn and check out my sketchbook, just let me know. I would be so excited if you tell me, yeah, I checked it out. I do have one other one in the library and I think it was volume 13. Um, I will link that down below. I'll give you the book number if you want to check it out or see it digitally. You can look at it digitally as well. A really fun program. I have an Instagram and a Facebook and a blog if you want to follow along. Actually, I have two Instagrams. I have Linda's Journey 78, which is all my personal stuff, vacations, family, all that good stuff. And I have um, Take Time to Create, which is my crafty goodies and all of these projects that I do. I would love to have you follow along on any or all of my social networks. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.